The L series of limiters have been an industry standard for pushing on 20 years now. The L1 was released in the early 90s. I'm not going to get into the history of it as I want to really talk about the application. Even though a lot of people out there use this on the master bus, it's a great plugin for individual track limiting, and it's been consistently popular over the last decade or so for bass, vocals, kicks, and more. One reason is that it definitely has some character and has some warmth to it. The other reason is that latency is kept to an absolute minimum. Let's have a listen. One of the first things I do using any of the L series is grab the link between these two faders and pull it down until I start to see some attenuation. At that point, I can decide whether I need it louder or whether I just want it to sit there and control the peaks. When you get the L1, you get two versions, the L1 limiter, which comes in mono stereo as a wideband limiter without IDR, and then you get the L1 Ultra Maximizer. It's a full mastering plugin with limiter and all IDR options. So it's a really great plugin for using on a master fader or on a two track master. The L2 saw us making a bit of headway. For example, it's ninth order noise shaping compared to the L1 second order. This is going to give you a cleaner dither, helping remove noise outside the human's hearing range. So if you're using the L1 on a track and you're pushing it a bit and you're hearing some breakup, you might want to move over to the L2 on that track. It's going to give you some more headroom and more gain reduction because we added arc to the L2. Arc helped us give you some more clean gain. More people use the L2 on a master but it's used on tracks as well, as I mentioned. The reason for the master bus usage is because we added the extra headroom and gain reduction and it is a cleaner sound, so works well still today. ARC stands for Auto Release Control, and I'm gonna suggest you leave it engaged on the L2 at all times unless you really know that you have a specific type of limiting behavior. For pretty much every possible source, you're gonna find that ARC will outperform a fixed release time. <laughs> 